Hello, hello, Youth and Prominence Program on Right TV. You are welcome on all our social media platforms. The catch word is Right TV Uganda. At Youth and Prominence Program, we invite young people. Anita Atayere is our guest today. Anita, you're very welcome to Youth and Prominence Program. Oh, glad to have me here. We Thank are you, so glad to have you, and we know you're going to inspire somebody you're going to motivate somebody. You are going to challenge someone. So Anita, I would like to go straight into your story. Who is Anita? Wow, I love that question. Yeah. <laughs> well, Anita is uh, a born again Christian. I am mm -hmm. an architect. Um, a firstborn of three children. Um, my father, well, a, fa a child of engineer and Mrs. Nyabea. Wow. Yeah. Anita Atire is a firstborn. Firstborns out there, hello. Yes. <laughs> Here is a firstborn and would like to hear how she either made it or ditched it. Of course, she made yes, it. Yes, I did. That's why she's <laughs> on Youth and Feminist yes. Program. So, uh, engineer and Mrs. Nyabea's daughter. Yes. Who are our lovely siblings? And tell us something about your family. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm the firstborn. So I have a boy, my brother follows after me, called mm -hmm. Edwin, mm -hmm. and then my sister, the last one, called mm -hmm. Diana. Well, yes. a family of three amazing children, one son and two daughters. Yes. Nuclear family, that's beautiful. Yes. <laughs> but Anita, did you go to school? Did you go to primary school or you jumped? Hmm. I did. I went to school like everyone else mm -hmm. in a typical Ugandan system. Nursery, primary, secondary, yes, till there. Mm. Um, yeah. So yes, I did. So who were those first teachers who received you? Where were they? They phoned, I phoned them in Little Angel Nursery School. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's Nakasero. Yeah, yeah in, in Nakasero. I know where it is. Yes, that sweet school. That is where I phoned my first teachers. Mm -hmm. Nursery was the highlight, of, I think, of my life up to now. Uh-huh. Tell it was, us. It was so fun. Like, all you have to do is go to school, <laughs> learn A, B, C, D, and play. Wow. And maybe lunch, find some nice, you know, pack nice lunch and I share. Know. Sausages and crisps and I splash. Know. That's the splash. highlight. Splash. Splash. You're the generation yes. for splash. Mm -hmm. And something used to have Safi. Safi. Mm -hmm. Talk about it. Yes, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So yeah, that's a highlight. You know, having birthdays as a child and the high table and making sure you you're call your high friends. Table. Yes, I like those that. Things. Those are the highlights of my nursery. But you learned how to read, yes. A, B, C, D, yes. counting. Yes, I did. And where did that take you? Um, that actually led me to Kampala parents mm. for primary for over seven years. Mm -hmm. So I was a Kampala parents, like any normal child, and yeah. Checked white and red uniform, is that right? Actually, it was, yes, check, yeah, white and red uniform. You see? Like, yeah. <laughs> I didn't go to KPS, but yeah. I think I see those uniforms. Yeah. After school, in supermarkets, and yes, in the cars on the way home. I know. Supermarket kids <laughs> after school. <laughs> <laughs> Anita, I find that so interesting. <laughs> so, any highlights from Kampala parents so that our viewers yeah. can notice what's important in schools? Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kampala parents, um, it, was, it was a beautiful experience for me. For starters, I think what I remember was keenly as a person, I was interested in sports and dance and MDD. So, whenever we had, we had something called a special item. So, for those of you who know, uh, when you have an assembly, they choose a class or a stream to present mm -hmm. on the assembly. Mm -hmm. So when I would hear that we are presenting a special the item, excitement. I was so excited. When it's just a, even if it's just a poem, <laughs> oh my God, just a poem. No, it's a poem. Even a poem is a big thing. Yes, just mm -hmm. being on stage at mm -hmm. the front line. That mm -hmm. was my highlight. <laughs> and when they take the pictures, you're the yes, first I'm one. there. <laughs> I'm so amused. Yes. So, Kampala parents went well. The homework. Oh, oh the homework. The homework. Now, that was just the dread, but we go through it. Yeah, I have to say, it was a lot of homework. Especially the higher classes, P5, P7. Oh my God, you have homework. And then on weekends, you have mixed. And then you have, I think, summary and news. It's just so much to handle. You even have hardly any playtime. So, I think because you're always, always studying, any playtime you get, you really want to maximize it. Mm. Yeah, so like class would end, I think, around 4.30. And then the same parents are coming to pick you. So you have no playtime. And then, 
So after class, they're picking you, then taking you back home. You get home around seven. Mm. Then you have to do homework and sleep by nine. So you don't really play. So I think for me, I would look for avenues to play. And when they're there, when they I'll came. enjoy them to a maximum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's good you noticed you needed yes, them. Yes, yeah. So maybe to parents like me out there and teachers, do we have to include a little more play? You know, this program is here to inspire us, to rebuke us, black and white, tell us things which are probably not beneficial, but also help us to probably think and come out with creative ways of how we can handle our students at school. Yes. We are enjoying Anita. Oh, I'm glad. Kampala <laughs> Parents leads you to? It led me to Narisusa Girls School. <laughs> wow, boarding mm -hmm. school? Boarding so from school. this school, yes. you're preparing to go to a boarding school. Yes. Mm -hmm. Would like to hear those stories. Wow. Personally, I was very excited to join a boarding school. You know, <laughs> living the commute. Not scared. Not scared. Again, I, I love people, so mm. I think adjusting to new spaces is not so hard for me, mm. personally. Mm. So, and I also knew my friends who are from Kampala Parents and going to Narasun. So I'm ah. like, oh, I'm cool. I'm good. Everyone I know is going to be there. It's not a problem. The whole day. The whole the night. Ho yeah. The weekend. The weekend. So for me, it's like, yay, I get to be with my friends. The whole day, the whole night, evening day, like forever. <laughs> so, so that's a highlight. Wow. Yeah. And then wow. leaving my family wasn't mm. a problem. So mm. I'm quite independent, I, mm. I think, as a child. Mm. So mm. I was really okay. Just give me what I need, I'll be fine. So yes. Wow. Yeah. Which dormitory? Pink is. You know them by name. As in my blue little and... sister went to oh. Navisunsa. So Navisunsa <laughs> is that nice place yeah. for us. Six years in one wow. place. And we really loved it. Uh huh. As in Blue West. You were in Blue West. Yes, <laughs> Next to Pink <laughs> West. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Were there any things that helped you settle a little more in Navisunsa? Mm. Like, did you have friends? Did you meet anybody who knew you mm. by name? Mm. Did they have any influence over you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um, yes, I did. I, there's someone I met prior mm -hmm. to joining Navisunsa. Mm -hmm. So I think it was one of those VDs. I got to see my cousin who was in S for the time. I was mm -hmm. in P7. So she left the school, but she had introduced me to her friends. Oh. Yeah, who stayed in Navisunsa. So when I joined S5, S1, they were in S5. So it was good to know that when I entered the school, they knew of me that I was coming and they got to see me. Mm. And I had like big sisters, you know, uh, yeah, looking after me and following after mm. me. Mm. But there was um, one in particular called, I forgot her name. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, she first of all was in the church committee at the time. I think mm -hmm. in S5, you mm -hmm. were the head of church mm -hmm. at the time. Mm -hmm. And um, again, she was a very a good girl, very kind and very strong on Christian morals. Mm -hmm. So she'd always look out for well, you know, just generally make sure everyone is out of dome to go for church and things like that. But in particular, she would pick me out and ask me, let's go for Bible study. So wow. how Nabisusa was, as you know, is predominantly a Muslim school. So Christianity was mostly expressed out of the school, hmm. typically on a Sunday anyway. So how it was structured is that you had a Bible study, I think between 8 and 10, mm -hmm. and then the rest of the school comes between 10 and midday to set the normal service. Mm -hmm. So she'd try to pick me out, come all, oh, let's go for the Bible study before service starts. So that's how I think I met someone who sort of guided me oh. to start my journey with mm. God in a more mm. keen mm. way, I would say. Mm. Yes. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Kakumba Chapel as I know it. Mm -hmm. A place meant for um, college students. Yes. But a place that has housed Navisunsa Christian students yes. for a long time. Yeah. So what were some of the activities you got involved in as young Christians? Yeah. You know, was God actually watching you while in Narisunsa? Yeah. Did you ever see his eye in anything that was happening yeah. around you? Um, the most I think I remember we had was the Bible studies as on Sunday. Mm -hmm. But maybe on Saturday a little bit like in the compound, just meet and pray and just learn about the word, the word of God. Um, but maybe oh. in particular, the particular lady, I remember she mm. she did something very small, but it was very significant to me at the time. Or at uh -huh. least, I like to say, God made it significant to me. Great. So there was this um, yearly occasion, the headmistress's mm. birthday was a huge deal in Narisunsa, uh -huh. where it's like an event, every class has to perform, uh -huh. everyone gets, gets they practice, hey, it was so much fun. Uh -huh. So um, somehow, again, I knew people in a higher class in mm. S5, and mm. these were the people who were organizing the event. True. So um, 
I think we were recruiting people to come and, you know, vocalists, you need people to sing, you need people to do different things. Mm. So somehow I'm a vocalist and we're mm. singing a song, mm. a Masiki Zolo song. <laughs> Masiki then, Zolo is so true. Yeah, it was so cute. I mean, yeah. It was <laughs> no, but it's okay. Song. It's okay. Yeah, it's part okay. of the growing process. Yeah, again, like, it, they weren't so keen on being Christian eh, True. in school. So in school, you're yeah, normal. You're like, True. you're singing secular songs, you're singing what? It's only when you go to Bible singing, you're like, oh, I can't actually sing this anymore. But, oh mm. well, <laughs> when you go back to school, you're singing it. Yeah, there's a bit of that, you know, being a baby Christian. And yeah. it happens to everybody. Yeah, 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 very, really look warm anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yes. So, um, one of the days of practice, mm. um, we're doing vocals, but we needed an instrumentalist, you know, help oh. with the tempo and rhythm and everything. Mm. There's this girl, she has an S5, she came from Budo. She's a guitarist. Mm, she's the wow. only guitarist I remember, actually. You know, so mm, I know. She came with her guitar, she's such, such a cool kid. Like, I found her so cool. So, wow. we asked for her assistance to help us in practice. And when she got to find out what she's going to do, mm. and she's going to help us in a secular song, she got very uncomfortable and quickly said that I can't be a part of this. I don't use my instrument in that way. It's only used for God's glory. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Senior five. Senior five. That clear. Yes. You know the Bible says, you know, you should neither be hot, uh, hot you should be hot. The Bible doesn't give us an allowance to be cold or lukewarm. Or else the Lord will spit us out of his mouth. Mm -hmm. A senior five girl yes. met by Anita to help them do accompaniment for a secular song. Yes. And she stands her ground and says, no, I don't use my musical skills yeah. for anything yeah. that is not of God. Mm -hmm. Anita, I want to know what that did to you. Okay. I think, first of all, I hadn't noticed that she's really, really Christian. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll just hear her strumming the guitar in, in the block she was in, and oh, yeah, she's strumming the guitar, and then, but mostly she's singing Christian songs. But then she brings her guitar to church. That's all I knew. Like, okay, she has a guitar, she can use it for church. Not a big problem. I was thinking, oh, you can also use it for this situation at school. But just, I think for her, she shook me. Because I'm still that dancing. That shaking yes. is what I'm interested it in. It shook me because I'm still dancing. Oh, can I listen to this song? Oh, I can't listen to Rihanna. Okay, but then I like Rihanna. And then, okay, Hillsong. So you're just in between Rihanna and Hillsong. <laughs> and for her, oh she's my. very stern. She's like, very I, real. this is where I'm going. This is what I'm doing. I'm sorry, I can't do this. So I was like, eh, Kapoor, she's so much of Jesus. I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so much of Jesus. Yes. By that time, the Lord was actually looking for you. I think Like so. we will let her hear. Yes, yeah. So that was a way of seeing God yes. looking out for a younger Nita yeah. in Nabisunsa Girls School, yeah. a Muslim school. Yeah. Amazing, know, amazing. Know, yeah. But you seem to sound like Nabisunsa was a sail through. Mm -hmm. Were there any challenges in Nabisunsa? Wow. Any tough days? Anything you remember? Yes. Wow. I remember we used to have morning jogging. On Saturday, you guys getting out of bed. Nobody early. wants to wake up. <laughs> no, I know. It's a Saturday morning to go and jog, and then if you miss the roll call, you have a punishment. So you, if you miss roll call for jogging, you have jogged. If you come among the last people, they take you back to go and jog. So you come back, let's say around eight, you have missed roll call, meaning you have a punishment in the staff room, and then you have um, to clean your dorms because inspection was at midday. You have to go back, to clean dorms, scrub. Luvas, what? Lay your bed. Ah, it was just so much. Yeah, I think it was so much at first. I was like, oh my God, there's... And there helps. So many things. I think as a bit... Hey, you what? Yes. <laughs> you wanted some help in yes. school. Yes. Okay, let, no, listen to the context. I'm from Kampala parents. But you're right. Anita, you're so right. That's yes. what we're doing in Kampala. That's yes. how we raise yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Kampala parents, we had cleaners in the toilet. True. I come to Nabisusa Girls School. Guess who are the cleaners? You, the fellow young ladies. <laughs> you're the one cleaning your school. I was so amazed. So during those tough days, you'd say, but where, are the, where is the help? Yeah, you're looking at the help. You have the help. <laughs> in retrospect, yes. would you really want help in boarding schools now? No, no. it's a good mm -hmm. practice because you need to learn. Yeah, yes. Why do they need to learn, Anita? Why are you going to find hel helps elsewhere? No. Yeah, you need to say no. it. I would you like you to say it yeah. to the young people. Yeah, you won't find help el elsewhere. If anything, boarding schools are training for you to mature as a responsible adult, take care of yourself. 
So if you can learn to do your own laundry, to, you know, to learn to coordinate with people from different cultures, you know. So, you know, um, Nabi Sunsa, people come from all over the country. <laughs> and you're used to your Kampala parents. Parents, kids who are living in big cars. Big cars, <laughs> Splash and Pringles. <laughs> no. And then you meet someone who has only daddies. And yeah, that's all I have. But even daddies are so good. What if you find one who, are, who has only genets? Yes, just genets. That's all they have. Even no deodorant, even no deodorant is like, you're like, eh, where did you come from? You know? So Cultural shock. Cultural shock. <laughs> yeah. But it trains, it sort of softens your yes. heart. Yes. Yes. I think it did open my eyes to see that there's how, there's a way people live out there that's not in my world. Made me more compassionate. Even if, if anything, I was very keen to know how, how is your family? How have you grown up? How, why are wow. you like this? Wow. Yeah. But Anita, we don't ask those questions today. Where did yeah. you get them from? I don't know. It was just interesting because I come in my... We are trying yeah. to show everybody we are happening. Yeah. We are cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know, then you could get away. Yes, yeah. I think it's just a me thing then. Just to come down to your level. Like, how comes you're like this? People wouldn't want to associate with you because you're maybe not as well off. Or you don't look to put together. But sadly, these are people who are the boats in class. They like, were the boats. Yeah, the clever people. The ones in stream air yeah, for you, the, the cool kids are where? Yeah, the streams. <laughs> so but you need them. <laughs> Anita, you're not easy. <laughs> you need them. I'm enjoying your story. Yeah. <laughs> I'm enjoying your story. Yeah. And um, later, right now, I addressed you as an architect. Yes. Did anything happen in O level that ever pointed you, or primary, that mm. ever pointed you to? Beauty, nature, nice mm. structures. Mm. Because because really architects yeah. it's about getting into your mind. You're the designers, yes. you're yes. the people who bring out what yes. we see. Yes. Okay. Um, architecture. Architecture I think began from two places happening simultaneously. So first of all, my dad's an engineer. So um, structural engineer, add that on. Yes, civil civil engineer. Yeah. <laughs> but he does that anyway. Yeah. Um, and he has a couple of properties. So I've grown up being on site. That was my typical weekend oh, getaway. Oh my God, that's mix. amazing, Anita. Yes. Never thought about it yeah. at all. Uh huh. So if you wanted me to go somewhere with him, like, oh, I'm going to go visit someone, but we're passing by site. No. So you're going to see the cool foundation, the too much soil and everything and the mess. But as a child, you don't really know what's happening. I think for me... Something is happening in your brain, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd go to site and be like, oh, it's so messy. So I'll just play, play in sand. Mm. Maybe try to walk through and just follow. But I think I was more keen on when they were finishing the house. It looked more put together. You could enter mm. inside without scaffolding. You could see, oh, they're putting the lights. Oh, they're now plastering. They're, they're painting. painting. It's cute. It's, it's coming together. The beauty is coming together. Yeah. Mm. So that was my brooding. My God, Anita. Yes. What you've just mentioned has blown <laughs> my mind out. I'm like, wow. Yeah. So if you carry your child on your back when you're going to steal, yes. you see they'll follow that pattern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Simultaneously, that there was something uh -huh. else. That was brooding on the back. Well, we had uh, thankfully a trip, family trip to go to Dubai. Now in Dubai, mm -hmm. I remember uh, we were in the car from the airport. I think <laughs> we're going to the hotel. Mm -hmm. Just the nice roads. roads. Just nice. Hmm? Even the blue, that's kind of a bit bluer than Uganda. <laughs> I don't know. It's a bit blue. <laughs> and then, I get you. Yes. Mm -hmm. The buildings were made of glass. They are curvy and, and I like shapes. organic shapes. So that appealed to me more than the triangular shapes in Uganda. So I was like, wow, this is so beautiful. This is and different. so many floors. And yes, so many floors, sky, skyscrapers. And on the sun. Yes. How do yes. they do it? That's very, very interesting, actually. So that really sparked like, no, you know what? I want to design something very amazing. Wow. Yes. So, wow. Yeah, I think the love for beauty and then design and seeing spaces come together, really. That's how I... Well, you it. know, there, there are a few statements people make mm -hmm. and the statement sort of intrigues you. Yeah. People say that uh, the children don't necessarily do what we say. Yeah. They do what we do. Yeah. They are imitators. They yeah. are perfect imitators. Yeah. So it was just a trip. I've gotten some money, yes. I'll take my kids out for a trip. Yes. And Anita is looking at the roads, the roads, I've been to Dubai, Anita. Mm -hmm. The truth is, mm -mm. <laughs> even when you're landing yeah. and you're watching through the windows, uh, the first time I landed in Dubai was at night. The lights, in yes. lines and what? Yeah. I'm like, is this normal? Yeah. So when you talk about the roads, mm -hmm. this one passes down, that one passes yes. up, and then the buildings, the buildings. As, this one's like a snake. Yes. 
So for you, yeah. all, that your daddy thought he was giving you a trip. Yeah. But actually something was happening mm -hmm. in your brain. Mm -hmm. Children out there, can we be interested in our life? The places we go to, yeah. but also as adults. Mm. I love this show. On this show, I get to hear young people's amazing mm. stories. And as a mother, I go back home and change something. You know, I fine tune here, I fine tune there. Yes. Anita, you're doing us so well. Oh, I'm glad. You're really doing us so well. I'm glad. So you come back to Nabisunsa, but that dream is already put in there. Yeah. In the brain. Yeah. And I'm sure after that, when you went to the construction sites. Yeah. You were a little more keen. Yeah, a little. No, this actually started happening quite recently. Me walking at the instruction sites. <laughs> then I was just like, okay, I like architecture. Wow. I, I think I do because now you only know, you hear of it and you see beautiful buildings. But then I liked art. I was good at art. I'm like, oh, oh this is not too bad. I know how to color, I know how to draw. It's like a gift. I can do this. So, yeah. And that's text and colors and, and, and textures yeah, yeah. and shades. Yes. It's all getting planted into yes, you. Yeah. So we are living in at a time when um, we are beginning to sense, hmm, I think I might go this way or that way, mm -hmm. a bitish. Mm -hmm. Your Christian mark is beginning to be grounded in. Yes. So as you prepare to leave Nabi Sunsa, I'm sure you had end of year dedication service and things like that. Yeah. So you leave Nabi Sunsa with what? I would like you to give a wrap up of now your conclusion, you've done your senior four exams mm. and you're leaving the doors of Nabi Sunsa. Mm. Okay. Who is the Anita S4 clothes? Okay. The Anita and S4. Oh, wow. She was someone who was very passionate about art. I remember that very strongly. Art, another time music. I remember I used to go to All Saints <laughs> during week during the holiday to go for vocal lessons. Eh? Very interesting. Fun wow, fact. say it, say yes. it. Another young people out there, yes. person out there needs to hear that you put in effort. Yes. So I think I had I had the desire, and thankfully my parents were like, okay, where can we help you do this? Yes, you're doing your coaching, of course, <laughs> during the holiday. But then I think after that I'd get some some few hours and go and just do like vocal drills and learn a musical instrument at that time I was keen on the guitar I remember mm. S3, S4 there that's where my headspace was academically I was hoping not to fail but yeah I tried <laughs> no you did you yeah did. I really tried my best you did yeah but apart from that I think I was just open to the world because I knew I was going to split with my friends it's inevitable mm. but I was just open to know where I'm going next that's where I was yeah. Mm, comfortable with church. Yes, comfortable with church, more grounded, just mm. learning, really, really learning. Basics. Just there, but just like normal, like a normal Christian. Like a normal Again, Christian very child. still look warm because I liked dancing and being on stage. So that's, that's where the, <laughs> the all look warm beat. Yeah. I won't let you go without describing it. The look warm you. Yes, mm -hmm. so there's also a problem because they see you in church hmm? and then. For you, every function, you're always on stage. Because now we had, I think we had like a few radios. Mm -hmm. So typically, you have to get a song in your head and remember it. When you're doing your dance strokes, and you're dancing, you're dancing, you're like, okay, after three times, you switch that, the tempo switches. So you have to know that song's in your head. So again, as you, the word of God says, what you feed your eyes, your mouth, those are gets, yeah? Mm -hmm. So now you're planting the songs, we had a song, what? Into in your you. head, in your mind. So yeah, there's always a bit of a clash there, especially in the music world. <laughs> but still, either way, you're yeah. going on anyway, you're surviving. Yes, I'm fine, yeah. I love Anita's story this far. We go to Little Angels, we go to Kampala Parents, we go to Narisunsa, we are growing. Thank you so much. Right TV Uganda, the catchword is Right TV Uganda, available on Facebook, YouTube, and all other social media platforms. We love you at Youth and Prominence Program. Thank you. Thank you.